What is up everyone, it is Andrew Pierre here of BD80 Production and Publishing bringing you guys a new YouTube video. In this YouTube video we will be making the virus and the antidote type beat. Uh, the virus and the antidote I believe is a duo or maybe it's just an individual person. I thought it was a duo but uh, it might be an individual, it's a producer regardless that produces for Sesh, Bones and all those um, I like to say the underground rap, uh, rap scene. He's a really popular producer. So, um, I've done this. I filmed probably about like two tutorials over this already now. So I just went ahead and designed a beat and we can break it apart. It's kind of complex, but it's not, it's nothing that we can't do. I know all the subscribers and everyone here has, uh, endured some more intricate, uh, Beat tutorials that we've done but uh, right now I'm just rearranging everything just so it's a little bit nicer to see um, and then we're I'm gonna play the beat right so I'm gonna play what we're gonna make so you can see whether or not this would fit, your, fit the style so I'm gonna play it from the beginning So that was uh, pretty much the beat. It's uh, very short and not too much because I figured if I was going to do a tutorial like this where I make the beat and then tell how I did it, then it would be kind of all over the place if we were to have some crazy intricate beat. But this should give you guys the main premise on how to approach making beats like um, the virus and the antidote. And I don't want to advocate people completely copying other people's styles but for those that want to learn in advance their producing skills and learn to produce just like their idols it's a good idea to know how they're doing it now this is a uh, kind of like a rough representation and an idea of how I did it but the big thing is the big thing I focused on was the 808 and the kick the melody wasn't anything really much uh this is a main melody to the sky then we had some bells and bell pads and i didn't even bother about adding any eq eq or anything but um uh, the 808 in the kick we used can get uh will be available 
online. It's uh, you can go to b2at.com, and in our downloads section, or if you go to our main page, you should see like something about drum kits and such. We have a page for drum kits and downloads, and there you guys can go see the drum kits and purchase the drum kits that we use. And I'll pull up on the side. These are some of the drum kits that we have. Uh, we're putting up more as we work on more. So, um, now the 808 though, I first started out with the 808 and the big thing about the 808 was figuring out the melody and, uh, because the virus and the antidote kind of creates a melody out of his 808s and, uh, kicks or a rhythm. So I'm gonna play just the 808. Now I wasn't, the 808 is more for the sub bass, like the bassy part, whereas the kicks are used for that power punch, and um, for the virus and the antidote, his kicks kick really hard, almost through the 808, there's a lot of distortion, and a lot of, uh, he doesn't really, it doesn't seem like he's following any rules when it comes to mixing and mastering, he's just trying to jack everything up to the loudest that they can go, um, which is fine. Um, but, um, so, some of the effects I had on this 808 were, like, some distortion, which we just used a fruity fast distortion. A little bit of EQ, a uh, little bit of a limiter, uh, mostly because uh, it's getting sidechain through this kick, which we'll get to very shortly. And then uh, one other thing that we had on the 808 was this limiter which is from waves plugin now this limiter is actually compressing the 808 it's actually making the 808 louder this one that, that I was talking about it's not making the 808 louder it's just gonna act as a sidechain which we'll get into when we get into the kick now um, this uh, 808 is tuned perfectly so is that tuned at C5 so I can start drawing in the notes and everything would be super and so I just created just this long note which then I created a uh, a slide from D to A sharp which you could do by slide we get to go down A and then um, another D and then it goes down to G then it stops and goes there one thing I would like to note, uh, note that I pull down the attack. So um, normally it would look like this, but I went into here and I pulled down the attack down completely. What that what that will do is we hit, we let go, and it stops. Hit, let go, and stop. Hit, go, hit, and, and it lets go. So that's pretty much what that does. Um, I'm gonna pull up the kicks. So here's the kicks. Uh, oh wow. Whoops, I never even uh, copied them. So. So, with those kicks, I got a parametric EQ, a fruity fast distortion, and this distortion is going to give that more, um, here I'll play, without it, without the limiter, and without the, And the reason why it's coming through is because we got it in here and this is side chained into here. So there's a lot of side chain. But now what I mean by the side chain is if you go over here, so if we wanted to side chain our snare, you gotta have everything in your uh, master. Or your uh, mixer, sorry. Um, and you just right click right here and side chain to this track. 
then it will give you this little knob right here and it will allow you it will allow you to choose how much you want it to pass through so this will then pass through this mix and kind of do all this and then since the 808 is over here we're going to tune that down a little bit I don't want too much I sidechain the 808 doing the same thing right click sidechain but I sidechain it to our main melody which then I created the limiter before we go too far ahead over at the limiter on the side chain from the kick to the 808 right click and you side chain it go up in your fruity limiter now if we were to uh, fruity limiter and then it'll, this will be blank or it'll be on limiter you want to go to compress compressor and you want to right click and it'll tell you what you're going to be side chaining so this is kick normal kick normal more of the threshold you pull down more of the volume it will cut out so this kick will cut the volume out of the 808 which is the whole point of sidechain sidechain is really common in EDM it's whenever you get that dun 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 and that music fades out every time that uh, kick hits that's the sidechain so that's literally all we're doing. So if you know how to do sidechain, then you can you could do this. Um, and what the sidechain is going to allow us is going to allow this kick and the 808 to pass through because the virus and the antidote has a very dominating bass and kicks. Very dominating. So we want that to pass through. Um, now, that's I'm going to pull up the pattern that we have for the kick. The kick uh, I kind of bounced around all over. You can see A, and we have all these different things. So you want to do snap, go to thirds to create these third steps. Those are very vital. Because uh, a lot of bones and um, the virus and the antidote utilize uh, some third steps inside of their uh, beat for their kicks and 808s. And then uh, for the main melody now, I know we're going all over the place. I'm going to try to organize this real soon. For the main melody, it's just, uh, this is it. Now, one thing I did, you can see, is the velocity is turned down a lot. And another thing is, in here, we got the, we got a distortion. But this distortion only comes on during the breakdown for that main melody. And we got some reverb, a little bit of a limiter. And then a gross beat, which comes on in the chorus. And then we got some background sounds, like some bell stuff. It's Omnisphere. This sound to the sky was in Expansions, uh, Side Trance, and then uh, Synth Wave Monks. So, that's a great sound. Oh no, To the Sky, sorry. It's actually To the Sky, which is why I named it To the Sky, not Wave Monks. Um, then the bells. It's just very light bells that are in the background. When you listen to it. And then we got this bell pad that comes in.
Epic pad spell. Bell eyes. We got uh, some hi hats now. Just kind of for that build up before we get that drop. So it's just a reverb and a parametric EQ for the uh, hi hat. So nothing too fancy. Just cutting out that low one for that hi hat. So. We got that little break. Now for the gross beat on that main melody, I don't ever change up these bell pads or anything other than changing the velocity in them. So this is a little bit lower than this. Or maybe it's the same. Maybe I got lazy and just didn't change it. But um, for the m none of these bell pads or bells ever change. The main melody only changes in this breakdown in which we do the gross beat. You can see in that purple one, gross beat. And it kind of creates this stutter. And here I just cut out a little segment. You can see for that, uh, and then went into the snare and added a, a little pre-snare. Play that. Snare is nothing fancy. It's just one of our snares from um, our smoke, our uh, school smoke drum kit, which we'll be releasing very soon. Plan on getting it out this week. So go to b2at.com for that. Um, so if we go to snare, we got a little reverb, got even a little distortion. But nothing too crazy. There's no side chain or nothing for that uh, snare. But. And another thing I changed up in this melody, there's some notes that were added, but I also knocked up the octave of this uh, melody. I knocked it up one octave. So it goes a higher pitch. in the hi-hats in here Let's scroll down into the second half of the breakdown and then we started uh if we go to our master i started adding some effect tricks effect tricks is a uh it's not a new plugin but it's a new plugin for me i just got it um and pretty much it's kind of like uh it's kind of like gross beat it's a better form of gross beat so what i did was go up to here and this kind of this isn't a tutorial over effect effect tricks. I'm just gonna kind of explain what I did though. I went over here to the loop, went to one and thirty two, so it's gonna loop. Um, I think it's like it's gonna loop really fast, like more uh uh higher the number the denominator is uh more of a trigger more it's gonna trigger faster I guess. It's going to trigger every 32 steps or something like that. I don't know. I can't really explain that. And then it goes into this little reverse effect. So if we listen to it, believe. That's all it does. It's just a super little quick effect that goes in and out pretty much. And then I added another effect tricks right in here. Go to our loop. It's at 1 and 64. Then I also got a little crush that kind of just adds distortion do it before the loop so and that would be this 
one and all I'm doing is creating a uh, automation clips of the toggle uh, on and off switch of the effects so if we listen I'm adding these effect sounds, which is all that effect sound. All it is is uh, a sound from the AT Pop Kit. It's this, but pull down that pitch. And if we track it, and we put on a little delay bank, some reverb. Delay bank is just uh, the standard delay bank. So if you just pull up delay bank right here, and just pull it down like that that's pretty much all I did for it and then uh, distortion with it literally so So we're in, I'm gonna go through this uh, one more time for y'all. We get the intro. It's about a 20 second, uh, 30, 20 second intro going at 110 BPM. Uh, halfway through, we pull in our hi hats. It's gonna create some movement through this beat, as well as implementing our bell pad. Now for this uh, melody to the sky, I cut everything in half and only place some throughout. And I copy that melody and put it over into our breakdown, creating a, putting this over here, make unique, and then I'm going inside of it, knocking the octave one octave higher, going in, putting it into the mixer, doing a little EQ, nothing crazy, nothing to worry about, and putting in a stutter which then I create an automation to turn on only during the breakdown section so here and over here and that uh, stutter will kind of change up that melody as well as it being in a higher octave then I have a side chain from the 808 bass into that which the 808 bass is getting side chained by the kick and then inside of the uh, main melody still, we got the reverb, a little bit of a distortion, and that's it for the melody. And then as uh, I state again, no changes in the bell pad. I thought I did some changes. I changed, you could see this is a little different, but it doesn't matter. I ended up not changing anything. Um, the bells, all the same, just background uh, noise pretty much. Um, the kick and the 808 coincide and when I mean coincide the kick is gonna work with the 808 but it's not the same melody um, and the kick is gonna sidechain the 808 so the kick can actually pass through the 808 if we didn't sidechain the kick it, it would be really hard to tell uh, the punch from the kick or the 808 we're not trying to create a punch with the 808 because a lot of the virus in the antidote he has some really heavy distorted kicks with some wild 808s and the 808s act more of a bass or a sub um then a snares no crazy pattern just very typical and then after the breakdown we have another like a short like a 20 second break and then it goes back into a breakdown which is no different than the first one so, and then we also, um, oh, one more thing. I turn on the distortion 
So if we look over here in our main melody, the distortion is off. I think I noted this earlier. I created an, another automation clip. All you need to do is go over here, right click, create. Here, I'll just show you guys with this one. Create an automation clip. It's going to be empty. Going to right click, right click, right click, right click. Boom. Automation clip for only the breakdown. If um, everything is up, that means it's on. If everything is down, like over here, that means it's off. So that's for those people that don't know automation. So if you guys are new to FL Studio, we are using FL Studio 12. We have more videos and tutorials about it in our uh, YouTube channel. If you guys also want to learn how to make beats like the pros, I highly recommend checking out the link in the description. We have an online course which you can access through your Android or iPhone phone. And um, it's lifetime guaranteed, so you're going to be in this class that we teach and we update uh, periodically. So we put up more videos and um, content. So not just are you getting to... Uh, actual tutorials, but you also are getting downloads, uh, drum kits, uh, mixer states, one on one interaction, uh, help, feedback. It's amazing. I love it. I, I love helping out people like that and teaching people how to make beats just like the pros. Uh, we cover every different style. So if you if you fear that we won't cover an R&B style, we'll cover an R&B style. We'll cover a lot of different things. So check it out in the description we are running a special right now the course is half off it's affordable for anyone i i trust you guys will benefit great from it so this is andrew appear here from b to at production and publishing i will see you guys later